So to determine the stability of isomeric alkanes, we use something called a heat of combustion. The larger the heat of combustion for an organic molecule, the less stable it is, okay? And so if you compare these isomers of this alkane, which is octane because it has eight carbons, um, we can see that octane itself gives off, if you burn it, 5,470 kilojoules per mole. This isomer, which has uh, two methyl groups, so it's slightly branched, so this would be 2, 3, 4, 5 dimethyl hexane. It's an isomer of octane. It gives off 5,460 kilojoules per mole. And this next isomer, which is more highly branched, gives off 5,452 kilojoules per mole. So the more branched the isomer, the more stable it's going to be. So there are various uses for <clears throat> alkanes. So carbons, uh, alkanes that have less than 20 um I'm sorry, alkanes that have a boiling point range of below 20 degrees C. Okay, so that fraction that comes off at below 20 degrees C. So that's going to be car one to four carbons are used in natural gas, petroleum, and plastics. Okay, so that's like methane, ethane, propane, butane. Okay, um, so the boiling point between 20 and 100, we've got pentane up to heptane, okay, and the isomers of those are going to be used as solvents. Bo the boiling point from 20 to 200, that's going to be C5 to C12, so 5 carbons to 12 carbon isomers. Those are used in gasoline, so like octane. Um, so if we have a boiling point of between 200 and 300, and carbon numbers of carbons between 12 and 18, those are used in like kerosene and jet fuel. 200 to 400 is C12 and higher, and that's going to be heating oil, diesel, etc. And then we have some non-volatile liquids, which are going to be have 20 or more carbons. Those are used in greasing uh, applications and lubricating oils. And then more than 20 carbons are going to be used as waxes, asphalts, tars, and something like petroleum jelly has also a lot of uh, carbon atoms in it and uh, and that is going to be used again for lubricating okay so gasoline is a mixture of straight branched and aromatic hydrocarbons and so that mixture is going to vary according to the time of the year and the part of the country that you're in so these smaller molecules are generally more useful for um, for gasoline. Sorry, my cat's getting on my nerves over here. Generally more useful for gasoline. And so these molecules are cracked. So in other words, they're heated at a high temperature in the absence of oxygen. So there may be with hydrogen there to add to the ends and allow it to break apart. And what that does is break them into smaller molecules that can be converted into something that can be more useful like used in gasoline. So with this process the yield of gasoline is about 47 percent per you know barrel rather than 19 percent. So those are, that's just some information about the sources and uses for different alkanes.